cataractcoach.com technique for soft cortical cataracts and I'll show you the full case from start to finish. Now we can see this patient has a lot of cortical spoking, a lot of cortical opacities and this is causing him tremendous glare with the sunlight, oncoming car headlights, with everything. He's having a very difficult time functioning. Certainly he needs cataract surgery. Now, if you look carefully at his eyelashes under the plastic drapes, they're very dark. This is not an old patient. This patient's relatively young. And most of these patients with soft cortical cataracts are on the young side. This patient's only 50 years old. So we're going to do his cataract surgery, and that's going to restore a tremendous amount of vision to him. So there's our main incision. Everything else is pretty routine here. Now, this is a little tougher. The capsular rexus it may be tougher to perform because the view's not as good. So as we start this rexus, even on this video where I'm trying to highlight the rexus, it's a little tougher to see. And so one trick here is don't let go of the caps rexus directly over an opacity. Let go to regrab only where you can still see it. And then try to minimize the total number of grabs. You can also use tripan blue dye to stain it. Here's the hydro dissection coming up, and we'll do a nice, good hydro dissection. There's that total opacity. We definitely want to get the lens out of the capsule bag here because it's relatively soft. We don't have to work in the capsule bag. There's going to be a minimal amount of phaco energy. So we'll use a very moderate phaco setting here. We can try chop the lens, and it chops pretty easy. It's, it's relatively soft. And then just using a high vacuum, high flow setting, we can emulsify and aspirate the lens very quickly. Notice the position of my chopper in the safe position with the blunt, smooth end towards the posterior capsule just to make sure we don't get any surge that would cause the posterior capsule to come towards the phaco tip. We can clean out most of that cataract here. Any small little fragments that are remaining, we could even get them out with the IA probe because this is a soft lens. And so that's pretty quick on the cleanup. We'll now go to the IA probe. Unlike some of the dense posterior subcapsular cataracts, these cortical cataracts tend not to leave behind material on the posterior capsule. So we should be able to clean this up completely. And so taking our time here, you can see it's still so opaque. A lot of opacity in this posterior cortical segment. Taking our time to remove that, now we start to see a beautiful red reflex. We'll clean this up and finish up the case. So the important differentiators in this type of cataract are one, the patients tend to be younger. And that's important to set appropriate expectations. If this patient was 40 years old, you have to explain that the new IOL is not going to have accommodation and they're going to lose accommodation. Number two, because of the opacity, the patient... Um, has that cortical cataract, that's going to make your capsular rexus a little bit more difficult to see. So don't let go of the capsular rexus edge unless you're in a position where you can see it already. Or if you have the ability to use the tripan blue dye, that'll help with visualization as well. Third thing is, get the nucleus out of the capsule bag. We know it's a soft lens. There's not a lot of density there. Let's get the nucleus out of the bag to facilitate the surgery. And number four, use the chopper in that safety position to prevent any problems. In a young patient, you definitely want to get the lens in the capsule bag. You don't want to have this complication. Well, this patient's 50 years old. What I do in his eye, he's going to look through for at least 30 more years, maybe 40 or 50 years if he's lucky. So we want to do a job that's going to be great and stable for the long term. And here we can see that's a beautiful centration of the lens, good overlap with that capsular rexus. That looks great, and we'll seal up the incision. So otherwise, a routine case, and I think you should be able to master this one quite easily and relatively early in the learning curve. There's a little piece of a lens fragment still in the anterior chamber. Do you see that? Let's wash that away and get it out the incision. There it goes. Important to use this cannula with bound salt solution to do that sealing of the incision, but also to sweep the anterior segment just to make sure there are no retaining lens fragments like that and make sure there's no viscoelastic even in the eye. Centering it up again, a little bit more sweep, that looks great. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. 
We have it all organized by categories, easy to search for the videos you want, and a lot more information than simply watching the videos here on YouTube.